Okay, hello again and welcome to Finlandia Mape MTP Cross Country Marathon Race Recap Video. Uh, as I was planning for tactics for this race. I I read about the negative splits and how to start easy and all that but but after like lousy warm up and this 5 minute effort at the beginning uh, I immediately forget about it so that was that uh I took the start a bit too hard and I was with the top top six, top seven riders after the first climb. And I went that hard that it took me about twenty minutes, fifteen minutes to recover from that. And I just tried to stick with the stick with the group here. You can hear me huffing and puffing as I go along so The effort was a bit too much. <laughs> this Finlandia Mape mountain bike race is the oldest one held in Finland and this was 33rd time for this type of race for me this was the first time uh, for this race and I was really surprised by the quality of trails in this Lahti area the weather's been also nice so the trails were nice and dry The race was two lap race, around 27 k's each lap and around 450 meters of elevation on each lap. Around here I started to recover from the effort from the beginning of the race and started to make like a bit new plan for the rest of the race and the idea was to let the group behind me catch me and stick with these these riders for for some time. Oh, 
Eikös mieli jää syömään tänne kyllä? Jep. This part of the track was, I think, the uh, best one. Like really, really nice descents down this green leafy forest also uh, like the when there's like tulip race with the trails you haven't ride before you have to be a bit, bit more careful with the mistakes and with the hearts and dif hard and difficult spots so here the uh, rider with the green jersey had some technical issue there and and he jumped with us and me and this uh, orange jersey one on front of me we had a quite the same pace quite like almost all the way to the finish but quite soon me and me and the green jersey one we managed to get a little gap from from this group and try to make it a bit bigger and work together for for this like end of the lap one As for nutrition, I had two bottles of maltodextrin sugar mix around 110 grams on each bottle and two or three gels with one of them was with caffeine. Ellei tipu tonne kanjoniin.
Okay, here we are approaching the end of the lap one. And uh, Lahti Winter, Winter Sports Center. I was riding with the guy with the green jersey and I thought we had made a bigger gap from group behind us. But here we like figured out they were right right behind us so <laughs> still some work to do here are some numbers from lap one with neutralized power of 291 and average power of 247 so quite a big effort but after the after the meltdown from the beginning of the lap one so I somehow recovered and started to feel good again. So me and Green Jersey rider from Kovolan Pyöräilet are hitting the single track at the beginning of lap two strong rider with the great technique and bike handling skills basically during lap 2 we managed to make the gap from the group behind us and uh, work together to make that even bigger not like any attacks from each of us The bike I'm riding is the same Canyon Lux Trail CF6 with like like the same setup that I've been riding the all the marathon races during this season, and I'm quite quite happy with with that. For the next season, I like I need to change some tires from faster ones. And like the cockpit is, I know, I don't know what you can do with that, but <laughs> it's quite messy with all those wires. So I don't know, is there five or six uh, wires going back and forth? <laughs> it's like eyesore <laughs> watching this bike from from this point of view <laughs> sometimes okay that was golf course some some gravel sections and this was nice little breather during this single track sections I'm doing my dropper post aero <laughs> fast downhill style which which is quite effective I must say And beautiful Finnish countryside here. Okay, there were like um, four to five bigger 
climbs during this course, but not not that they were okay. Not that not that the elevation gain was moderate for this race, and I believe that was the reason it suited for me quite well. This was beautiful section of the of the trail, like this like tractor tractor trail. <laughs> I don't know, like uh, and I think we managed to grow the gap uh, doing this one. I somehow had the quite good legs on this point of the race. I think we're around 45 k's in or something. So a bit less than 10 k to go at this point. Here we're riding still together, I think uh, around here I, s I tried to put the put the pace up a bit and try to see if I can uh, if I can drop him but but that didn't seem to work so around here my plan was to be on a, on a front during the last climb and after that just I drop into ski center uh, and hold the front so we are quite going quite slowly this last climb there's not that many spots to overtake me and here I start my attack to and try to stay on front speed was so fast that I was spun out so just drop it almost felt like dropping the hardest part was to stay upright on this loose gravel and just hope hope that I could stay on front and and somehow that worked out okay and here are some numbers from lap 2, neutralized power 264 and average power 336. As for the whole race, the neutralized power was 278 and average power 241. So I believe these are the best numbers for, for this season. and. I'm really, really happy with those. And as for the placement, it was also the best for for this year. I was 8 out of 43, so top 10. Okay, thanks for watching and if you have any ideas, comments, or if you were racing this race or anything else, or if you own this kind of Mape hat or Mape jersey, <laughs> please let me know. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching and and all that. Thank you.